Hello one and all, this is Hybrid Steel, thank you very much for joining me in today's Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 Beginnery Tip Video. Welcome, by the way, to 2021, and to all the console people out there as well, because you guys are finally on the same period as the PC, it actually comes out at the same time, instead of, yeah, I had to wait at the same time when I was on console as well. But, it's nice to have you all about. So, a couple of tips I want to give you, these are like my quick tips on how to start and how to mess around with uh, CMS, okay? So, number one, you want to know about the toolbox because basically this un doesn't unlock through level anymore, this unlocks through how much money you've got. So, for the first sort of couple of levels, you're going to be playing with things like the onboard diagnostics machine, the tablet and bits of pieces. These are the cheapest things you can buy. That's my advice is buy the cheap stuff first, earn some experience by doing this well, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Next, uh, when it comes to expanding your garage, buy this one first, the garage expansion. I know it's 10 grand, but it's probably the best thing you can do to start with. The reason why is it gives you the tools, which is the brake lathe, the workbench, the body repair station, and the engine tool. Basically, all of this is the stuff you need near the beginning. Don't spend your money on anything else. Literally, just buy this. When it comes to your experience, and all, basically, as you go up level, you'll get skill points. That goes to upgrading your skill tree. So, obviously, with this, plan the best route for you. For me, personally... Putting your speed up isn't the best way to go about things until later on in the game because you'd have done everything else anyway. For me personally, it's all about just getting up to that point of being a renovator, being able to fix everything first and then you're able to earn more experience to go up levels faster so you can do all of this faster. I always aim for a voucher just to make things a little bit cheaper to start with but the, the idea is just basically to get through all of this as quickly as possible. Basically just play the game and level up is all good. A couple of tips I want to show you with the car. So let's, we will take that one. So first off, it's always good if you're going to put in, you can either put it onto car lift one or car lift two, depending if you've unlocked that already. How to earn experience a little bit quicker. Now, when you first started, it's it's difficult. So, as I said, I, I sort of get people to like if you if you buy the tools first, you can build it. So what you want to do is you want to click into the engine, you want to go to the additional tools, and for every single one of these tools that you're going to be using to gauge your car, you'll earn one XP for everything that it finds wrong with your car. So I'll show you now. As you can see, coming up on the left and coming up on the right, one experience for every part. That there we go. So that's 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 experience right there by just finding those things. Next, there you go. We just don't what sixty XP by just doing the basics. Now, obviously, if you go through the other stages of testing cars, you'll probably earn a bit more. But that's literally how I would do stuff to start with. Just make sure you're all good. So next, my next tip for starting is. If when it comes to doing anything in a car and you're not sure how many parts you're going to be taking out to put this into perspective I've got to do this where it just says change windscreen fluid and that's not too difficult but if you're doing stuff with the engine if you're doing stuff with brakes and all the other stuff and it involves taking the block apart this big hunk of crud in the middle personally for me drain all the liquids before you do it it will save you 200 credits and it'll also be a little bit easier for you to know what you where you're up to so if you basically drain all the liquids faff around with the engine then fill all the liquids back up it's all good and filling up all the liquids thankfully i have to show you how to do a window screen thing so here we go we're going to go to the window screen washer we're going to right click here and we're going to go to the drain tool we're going to click on the container and drain all the liquid out into this very small tube and then we're going to come back in here, part and mount, unmount the cap, and then refill the liquid. And this is the same for every single thing you're going to be filling up. You know, people wanted liquids, we've got them all, so it's all good now. One side additional thing is, if you're working on one of the older cars in this game, you won't have the coolant reservoir A. You'll have a radiator with a cap on top. If you've got the radiator with a cap on top and you take the radiator out then you're going to make a mess. So the best thing you can do in that situation is drain the radiator first. It's the same situation. You click on it. You basically click on it like you do on here. You click on the tool and you go to the drain tool. Uh, you just got to watch out for the radiators because they, they can't. It's one of those things. Whatever tip I'm up to. Fuse box. Don't forget this exists. The reason why this exists is to make it a bit more lifelike as how to start a car or how to finish a car. If the car doesn't start and the starter is in good condition, it's probably a fuse. So with the fuse, if you actually go into here and you can use the electric mold timer here, will basically show any of the relays that are going to be like not together. I'll show you again. So 
So the mold timer basically does everything electrical that hits with the car. So this controls the ignition, this controls, you know, just everything in the car when it comes to electrics. So as you can see, the mold timer basically does all the electrical signals through the car. Goes through the radiator fan housing, the relays, the medium fuses, the starter, the alternator. If there is a problem with the starting of a car, it'll be one of these things. Most likely it'll either be the starter, the alternator, or a fuse. But there's a lot, sometimes it's the battery, but you just have to keep an eye. I've got to be honest, in 2018 I went in quite blind and I was like, hey, I'm just going to figure this out, it'll be fine. But when you've got more stuff to check and you've got the tools to you do it, use the tools it saves you time it saves you effort and you know exactly where you need to attack that car the, my last my last tip mainly is just to play the game enjoy it and really go through it as you can tell in the top right hand corner i haven't used any mods i'm not using any cheats i'm literally playing this game from the start like everybody else i'm not cheating this game i didn't cheat in the last one i used a code so i could show you stuff but i'm literally on my own profile playing from the straight and as you can see i'm level 11 i've got 10 grand the reason why i only have 10 grand is because you have to invest a lot of your money into things now and it's not cheap like for the paint bait it's 15 grand plus seven plus seven five so you got to spend fifteen thousand on the additions plus the fifteen thousand to start that's 30 grand i've got to find and then i've got to basically buy all the other stuff as well which is extra cash this game is very heavy on how much money you're going to earn, and I've got to be honest, it, it does feel good. It's a, it's a really impressively high graphical game now. It really is. The grind is real, and I said this in 2018, I'll say it in 2021 for all new players. The grind in this game is very real. For the first 10 levels, you're doing small jobs, and it takes ages to do anything. Stick with it, because once you get to a point where you've unlocked all your tools and you've unlocked everything else, the game becomes more fun. There's more customization. There's more inbuilt stuff. And I've got to be honest, the game just gets better. And the plus side to being on PC over console, and I'm this is the one stick why I moved to the PC version, was the Steam market. Because the modders in this game are crazy. They are amazing at what they do. The mods we get on the PC version is enough just to buy the game and just use their stuff. It's probably one of the best features in CMS on PC. The modders make this game even better than what it is. So I hope this video helps you sort of understand a few bits and pieces and I hope it helps more people. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below if there's anything I can cover for you, if there's anything I've missed or if there's anything you want me to talk about. I'm more than happy to go through pretty much everything. I love this game. So thank you very much for kicking by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all of the updates. And I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do. If you do feel like you want to help out this channel, down below this, there's a little red button that says subscribe. Hit if you do hit that little join button below, you get the chance to help feed a, a poor gamer like me. So thank you very much for kicking by. I'll see you all in another one. Peace out, have fun, and enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.